warned this video will contain spoilers. Episode 8 of SEAL Team Season 7 delves deeper into Bravo's ongoing mission in Honduras, with each decision leading to mounting complications. Jason's determination to take down Nazario and stop the fentanyl drug trade is clear, but his impatience continues to put the team in difficult positions. This episode really digs into the complexity of their mission, showing how small missteps can create massive problems for everyone involved. Bravo's hunt for Nazario's right-hand man, Roberto Dubin, sets the tone early on. Jason, Drew, and Omar manage to locate a large stash of fentanyl, but Jason's instinct to destroy it pushes them into a dangerous situation. It's interesting to see how his mindset contrasts with the rest of the team, especially when it comes to Davis's advice. Despite her attempts to keep him grounded, Jason's tunnel vision leads to a bloodbath when he kills Dubin's men. His impulsive actions not only jeopardize the mission but leave behind a suspicious scene, forcing Bravo into a corner as they attempt to clean up the mess they've unintentionally created. The tension escalates even further when Bravo discovers that Ross Curtis, a DEA informant, is at a security meeting they've targeted. This twist complicates their mission to strike Nazario's forces, as Curtis' presence makes any attack too risky. It's a prime example of how Bravo's situation continues to spiral, leaving them more exposed and vulnerable than ever. With Curtis' fate unknown and Bravo having revealed themselves to Nazario, they now face the repercussions of their actions, with the potential to derail their entire mission. One of the episode's standout moments comes from Davis's reveal about why she's accompanying Bravo in Honduras. Her confession to Sonny about hiding from the Army CID adds a layer of depth to her character and reminds us of the lingering consequences from Clay's death. The connection between Davis and Sonny is undeniable, and though Davis tries to downplay their kiss from the undercover mission, it's clear there's more beneath the surface. As the investigation into Decker's assault looms, it's likely their relationship will face new challenges, especially as the risk of exposure increases. The episode also peels back more layers of Omar's story, giving viewers insight into his past. His conversation with Sonny about his son, M.O., is a deeply emotional moment that adds more dimension to Omar as a character. Learning about his failed marriage, the betrayal he faced, and the fact that his son doesn't even know he's his father paints a picture of a man carrying immense emotional weight. While it's uncertain how much more of Omar's story will unfold with only two episodes left, this moment offers a glimpse into the pain he's endured, making him a more compelling figure within the Bravo team. As we head toward the final episodes of SEAL Team Season 7, Bravo's mission in Honduras is more precarious than ever. Jason's impulsive actions, the growing complications with Ross Curtis, and the emotional stakes between Davis, Sonny, and Omar all set the stage for a potentially explosive conclusion. What are your thoughts on Jason's behavior this season? Do you think his decisions will ultimately lead Bravo to victory or failure? And how do you feel about the unresolved tension between Sonny and Davis? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below.